Hello everybody, welcome back to Space Pickle Designs. Today I have part two of that eBay haul, so let's just jump right into it. First up, I got this whole bag of ceramic looking beads. It looks like we have a glass bead in there as well. That bead's really cool. We've got quite a few different shapes in here. Nice blue and white color on those. I really like these. These like rondelle saucer shapes in these guys. Those are really cool. A big focal here. Next up is this huge bag of what looks to be mostly blue beads. We have two more strands of those Doris. It looks like the fire polish rondelle, so like a Chinese fire polish. Um, and those are like um, not tapered at all. They're like slices almost. We have some more rondelles in a light sapphire color. Those are pretty cool. Nice color on those. Got some cube crystals. Again, like a light sapphire AB. These just look to be some uh, glass beads here for the coating. We've got a cute little moped. <laughs> I don't even, it's not even a bead, it's just a cute little moped. We've got these, oh, these almost look like blue jeans. It's like a blue lined crystal bead. This is like, oh, yeah, Miyuki triangles. I couldn't, I could barely even tell that they were triangles from that, the color. Let's see. We got some blue crackle glass. We've got some copper wash blue beads here. They're very small. We got what looks to be like an enameled bead here. That's a big guy. I love that. Nice focal bead. We've got some circle beads here, ring beads. And this looks to be maybe a gemstone. Let's see. Maybe not. Nice um, blue color though. This just looks to be a little bit of a, a blue mix here. That would make a cool necklace. Another one of those beads. I wonder if we'll find any more. Now these are interesting. This says, okay, it's in a different bag. Definitely got some cool beads here. It's like a cobalt and crystal um, stripe bead here with dimples, if you can see that. Got another seed bead mix here, just dark blue. Oh, these are pretty. Big bag of these. Just a various shade of blue glass ble beads here with facets. A couple different shades. We got another blue mix here. These are very dusty. I wonder if this person harvested um, jewelry. We've got some ridged bicone beads here. A cobalt color. Got another fire polish strand here. I love that color. That is just, it's a simple color, but it, it almost glows. Can you see? I don't know if the color is coming up on that, but wow. Got another bead mix here. Oh, that's an interesting one. So a little dusty, I'll have to clean some of these beads and see how they come out. A nice um, wintery bead mix. This looks like some faceted round glass. Probably a six millimeter. 
We got some more glass rings here. These are large. These are pretty cool. Another bead mix. I like the little flat flowers. Those are really cool. Oh, we may have some lamp work in here. Yeah, I'll definitely have to clean up some of these, but some of these are really cool beads. I got three of these big ones. Just got some little cobalt cubes in here. Some cobalt rounds and a six millimeter. We got some um, iris seed beads here, probably 11 O's. We got some little patterned beads here. I've seen these before. Not in this color though. That's, there's like a, I don't know if it's gold lined. It looks like there's a gold line. It, it kind of shines green through the bead, if you can see that. We got some cute little flowers. Look at these guys. Ooh, I love these, this color. Look at that. I haven't seen that color before, I don't think. Maybe it's just the shape of the bead and how thin it is. That color comes out a little differently. Got some more cobalt beads here, and they're just like little tubelets. Got some more rings. Oh, we got some shell coins. Oh, those are really pretty. It looks like a lot of this is harvested, which is which is good. But um, yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, we got some of the. Ooh, it's a little bicone flower mix here. See that? I really don't have a lot of cobalt beads and I keep forgetting how pretty that color is. We got some daggers. These are one hole daggers. We got a good size here. And we got I love those too. These are like little dimple rounds. I'm like a 10. Ooh, I'm definitely gonna use those. Um, here at the bottom, we just got some random ones that fell out, it looks like. We got this bead in there, that's pretty cool. And then this right here. Montana AB times two. And the price on here makes me think that they are Swarovski. So, like, we found some Swarovski in here. <gasps> yeah, those are really pretty. Those are really, really pretty. I mean, I'm not even keeping count, but we've definitely gotten our money's worth <laughs> out of this. All right, let me get another bag out. Next up, we have this red bag. So, let me get into this guy here. Another bead I don't have a lot of is red. Um, so, we got some of those Faux cinnabar triangles. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, I don't even. Oh, like little Buddhas. Okay. And there's some like random seed beads in there too. Again, it looks like it may have been a harvest, maybe a harvested strand or something. Because, yeah, they normally put like little beads in between the strand. All right, again, we have some little beads in here. But these are really cool, these little saucers. Looks to be a couple different sizes in there. It's a nice bright red. Here's some shell drops. Let's see what this tag says. Oh my gosh. I've been to bead stores that just have hanks and hanks of beads out there. And uh, you know, they normally sell them for about that, that price. I have some of these in like an orange that I got a couple years ago, I think down in Vegas. Oh, I love these. Oh, look at the color. Oh, it's like magma. Are you seeing that? There's a whole bunch of them, too. I really like those. Yeah, I definitely don't have a lot of this color. 
some more shell. It's like a rosy, almost a rose um, red. Definitely leans red, but it's definitely got some rose in it. What does that even mean? I don't know. <laughs> uh, again, here's some more of those points, but we also got some pinkish uh, mother of pearl looking beads. Got a little bead mix here. It looks like there's a gemstone pendant. Looks like maybe all gemstones. I don't, that looks really red to be like a cherry quartz, but maybe it's dyed. Either way, it's very pretty. And I really do like the contrasting yellow in there with it. I would probably keep this together, to be honest. And one last bag here. Again, some more of those um, faux cinnabar looking beads. These have a little dragon on them. Got about five of those. Next up is one of the bigger bags in here, and I am pleased to say it's the green beads. So let's get into it. I could have all the green beads in the world, and still I would say yes to green beads if they were free. You know, maybe if they're not even free. All right, so I got uh, some crystal. Cristazzi. I've seen I think I've seen these at Michael's. But yeah, we got some it looks like um round eight millimeter. There we go. We got some cube beads. Again, looks like a Michael's. And then we got a little these might be uh check glass rondelles here. Looking at the price. Oh, we got a Montana strand in here. Still love it. Still love it. We got some, ooh, look at these. These are actually fire polish round, and these are, it doesn't say what size they are, but I would guess they're at least a 10. That's a really nice green. We have some caned glass here. But a big old bag full of squares. We got some smaller ones here, some small rounds. We got some gemstones here. I've seen these before, I forget their name though. Got a couple different sizes and it looks to be that there's a pendant. Let's fish out the pendant. Two of them actually. And they already have bales on them. Nice big old bag full. Got some coins in there as well. I need to get better with my gemstones, you know? Got some more shell beads. This is like a nice, like, light blue-ish green. Definitely leans a little green. This is one of my favorite shades of green here. It's like a nice bright one off a chartreuse color. Look at these coins. These are some big guys. Those are really pretty too. It's got like a silver in it. Oh, we got some donuts. And these look to be gemstones as well. Different kinds maybe. Again, it's that um like almost Dalmatian Jasper that's blue. Oh, I don't know what it is, but I like it. Now we got some green rings. Again, we had some of those, I think, in the blue. Here's some green ones. We got some more faceted rounds here in like a jade color. These are a little bit dusty. We'll see what they look like. Oh, I bet those are going to clean up really, really nice. This looks to be like a, like a lamp work type of glass. Got some more of those rounds with a multicolor instead of just the blue. We've got some green saucers here. Look at that spring green. Ooh, I love these, these barrels. 
big old bag bag full. Oh, I love those. Those are probably Chuck because it's got like a travertine finish on them. But those were expensive. Got another ooh seven millimeter olivine round here. Probably Chuck. Got some shell beads here. And it looks like the holes run from top to bottom here. So you could actually frame a bead in there. Oh, we got some little drops here. $3 for this strand. It looks like they're silver lined. Gives it a nice glow. We got some more shells. We've got some fire polish with an AB and a six millimeter. Beautiful, beautiful. Got a nice little mix here. Let's take a look at these. These are like flat, puffy squares, I guess. Not quite cubes. Those are really cool. They're very lightweight though. Um, did I show some of these? Put some of these in like a square. Big old bag of those. Same bead, but in a smaller round. These big chunky fire polish looking beads here. Could just be a faceted round though. I'm not quite sure, but I love them. Those are really cool more shells and just like a slightly different green we got some leaf beads here it's a little mix a little green mix I really like the light minty ones my co-workers favorite color is that minty green it's not not my favorite shade of green but I do like it that looks really good in those leaves this is closer to my favorite shade I really like that true green color vegetal and we have some saucers here in a really cool color look it's got a travertine on them as well these are amazing i love beads so much oh, i like this green too it's very natural very natural green it's not quite it's like a light olivine if that exists I'm not sure. Oh, I love these. Look at these guys. Those look to be, they might be gemstones. I actually can't really tell with them being that small. But look at the detail on those. I, I love them. I love them. They're, they've got a texture to them too. Here's a little bit of a mix here. It's got some seed beads in it. But some more of those same beads that have like the metallic finish on the edges. I can't quite tell if they're chug or not, but either way, they're super cool. And it looks like I got some Topaz 11 O's in there. Oh, I love these. Too bad it's a small bag, but I will cherish those. That's a special bead right there for me. I really love those so much. Like, if I were to do a bead bag, it would have those. A bead box. If there was a space pickle bead box, it would have those. Because it's like pickles, but also um, celestial. And these are freaking stunning, too. Can we see the detail on those beads? Oh, gosh. I don't even have to make jewelry. Just looking at beads makes... Just lifts my spirits, honestly. We've got some... AB rounds here. They don't look to be drugs. They just look to be a glass. But I could be wrong. Oh, last bag here is another very special bag. It's a very special little mix here. Look at those. Oh my gosh. I don't see those. That is a unique. It's like a matte AB with striped glass. Wow, that is really special. 
we have a huge bag here of what looks like to be um, more neutral colors, so let's just get into it. First bag contains some letter beads here. These look pretty old. <laughs> but, I mean, like, that's really cool, you know? Um, these, I don't know what color they were supposed to be. This almost looks like pink silver. So I'm guessing it's like a silver that has tarnished a little bit, but that's interesting. And they have a little tutorial here on the back. Um, we've got what looks to be some wood beads here. And they are top to bottom drilled. A little bit uneven on those. We've got some shell beads. Like little coins. Oh, and wow. The shine on those so good oh, these are precious oh it's a huge bag too look at those oh wow like look how much this is like half that's just half the bag so just as a sneak peek if you're liking some of the stuff that you're seeing obviously I can't use even close to all of these beads so I will be making some custom um, little mini space pickle bead boxes that I will be selling one-offs on at on Etsy again we got some this one looks to have like some yellow dye to it but the other ones seem to be pretty white those are really really pretty yeah like see like I don't need 15 of these I can share quite a few in the little bead boxes that I'll be making. I can't wait to start doing that. <gasps> Look at these. Well, this is definitely a stone. It looks to be like a fish. Oh, wow. Like a pendant almost. Looks like it would like hang like this. Like, wouldn't that be so special to get in a bead box? And I, th I just feel like, you know, like bigger companies can't do that because you can only find like two of these right like yeah I can't wait to share let me know if you think that would be a good idea because um, I'll definitely curate it as well on video before I even sell it so you know exactly what you're getting I love these so much these look to be um, a glass with a coating but those are really really cool I don't know though I can't speak from you know expertise or anything some more lamp work oh these are beautiful i love those so much different shapes there nice little assortment again we got some more of those shell points i'm not going to take these out we kind of saw those with the rose color we got some coin beads i'm going to take these out just because they are a unique color they are very golden i love those a whole big bag of those. Some more of the shell beads without the metallic coating. So these are like a more natural looking shell. Nice like light pink. Those are beautiful. What else do we got? Looks like almost maybe a ceramic bead here. They're like little squished spacers. Look at this focal. Oh my goodness. Looks to almost be like maybe some lizards and on the back. Wow, these are really special. This little donut, there's no holes. That is wild. That is so cool. This looks to be like some more, um, there's some broken beads in here, but like some glass from India, Indian glass whole bag of those. I'll have to clean those up for sure if I put them in a box. Look at these. These are a unique shape. It's like they're like little leaves. They're top drilled. See a little hole on those. Very tiny hole for such a big piece. They're definitely little shells. Wow, those are those are really special. I am such a lucky girl. I can't believe this did not get snatched up. We got some more wooden beads here. Like a soft square shape. 
Oh, these are so cool, so unique. I am loving the pops of color in here. Are you seeing that? There's blues, there's yellows, there's reds. Wow, that, that's really something else. Oh, I love those so much. I wish I could buy a whole, a whole big bag of those. I thought the first half of this box was going to be the best part. I didn't think it could get any better, but it definitely has. Oh, I have to take these out. I know we've seen these, but look at the color. It's like a golden green olive color. Again, huge bags full. I can't wait to share some of these with you guys. Like, look at these. It's like a, like a stone that's been put together. Like even these, it's just a small bag of beads, but they are still special. Like look at the swirls on those. They're neutral, but like just having that design, it's not overwhelming and you don't really notice it until you're up close. And that's what gives it so much interest. Some more lamp work here in a gray. My mom would love that color. I think that's one of her favorite colors. Again, this looks like more of like a picture Jasper here. Could be wrong. But there's some ovals and some beads that match. Are you seeing the designs on these? And these again are top to bottom drilled at like a bead frame. These are so cool. Looks like we have some tiger eye. Maybe. I've just never seen a shape like this. But there's definitely some flashes in there. It's like a flat coin. Some more shell, but in the white. It has jump rings attached. Some bigger shell, but in like a natural, maybe slightly dyed bronzy color here. We've got a smoky faceted puffed square. And there's some inclusions in there. Like, I don't know, they don't feel too cold. It actually does still feel like a glass, but you never know, it could be a smoky quartz. We got, oh, these are, these are beautiful. Look at those. These are so special. I know I keep saying that and it sounds like I'm just like such a hippie, but like, I don't have this type of stuff in my collection. Now these, I love these, but they do look like they might be bone, if that bothers you. But they're like little teeny skull beads. Oh my goodness, look at those. We've got so many. Could you imagine the price on these guys? Oh. Okay, I just dropped two of them. Please remind me that I dropped two. Got more shell squares here in like a smoky brown color. Some more shells in like a, a silvery gray. Gosh, some more of those shells in bright white. Some actual shell shell beads, like full on shell spirals here. Those are really, really cool. They've got two holes in them. It's a little different. Some more shell coins. Oh my goodness, look at these. Look at those. Again, these are two, they have two holes in them. How would you use these? Comment down below and let me know. But those are amazing. Like, these are so unique. Again, we have the same, but in a white. Got some more brown shell um, ovals here. I won't take those out. And again, some, some lamp work in that beautiful golden color. All right, so we almost made it. This is the last thing that we have here. And I'm going to save this guy for last because I took a peek and... What's inside is a little bit insane, okay? So let me just go through this stuff first and we'll get into these. Okay, this is super cute. I might have to make something for my mom with this little guy because <laughs> she 
and her mom, my grandma, um, loved to play Scrabble, and this like looks like a little Scrabble thing, and her last name starts with a K. Um, so we got a bunch of these 10-0 clear glass beads, has never been opened. We also have, and it does say bone on here, so it says blue frog beads. I wonder what the 630 area code is. If anyone knows what that is, just let me know. I'll probably look it up after I film. But yeah, we got a dragonfly here and a butterfly. Look at that. These are just these are just such unique pieces that I have nothing like in my stash. We got some more of those blue moon um, spacers here. We've got some, looks like metallic beads that would fit over a leather cording. Speaking of, we got some leather cording. That looks to be a one millimeter. Yeah, so very small. We've got some more charms here. And this is just, I don't even know. Looks like we have maybe an eye, a bust of some sort. Um, maybe an angel. Um, some sort of animal. A house. And maybe it looks like a dog or a squirrel. <laughs> I'm not really good with abstract um, shapes. Um, but those are really cool. I've got a bunch of these guys here. They almost look like they could be handmade, but they look like, um, you know, closures for the back of a necklace. And if they aren't handmade, I would be, I would actually be surprised because they are not even at all. But I think, I mean, that's what makes them cool. You see what I mean? Like some of the edges are flatter, some of them are not. And then we have some alphabet charms here. That's crazy. If that's what they paid, you know. That's, um, we've got some spacers here. In almost a gunmetal or antique silver color. Okay, I'm gonna clear this off and then we'll get into the Tootsie Roll. Okay, so we got a tin with a lot of goodies in here and I've never seen Tootsie Roll midges. I'm not sure, um, but I remember getting Tootsie Rolls and I only like the chocolate ones but my brother loved the flavored ones so every time I get those I would give them to him and so this just looks like a box of curiosities and focals and some really special pieces in here so if this was like made out of an antler which looks like it could be the case here $18 is not unreasonable for such a unique piece I mean come on almost like a mask if anyone has played crash bandicoot that's what it reminds me of here's another like half of a face it looks like and the hold runs side to side here and wow it's double sided you could do up or down or side to side that is very cool look at that so you could choose which way you want to use that we've got some more of these like cinnabar looking pieces here, like a swan. We have a fish. We have what looks to be a little Buddha head here. Maybe not, I'm not quite sure. Another, look at this focal. Fishies. Looks like maybe under the water with some vegetation under there. We've got what looks to be a crude hand, which I actually love. I love that. Another little piece here. Doesn't look to have any holes though. This looks to be a carved shellfish. A little scarab. Again, no holes on that guy. We've got an Australian coin. 1967. Here we go. We've got like a little flat piece of metal here. Be good for a stamping. 
Another one of that like faux cinnabar looking. It's kind of like a button. And then another carved fish. And the hole runs through the mouth and the tail. Some more fishy charms here. We've got a copper, an antique brass, another antique brass, and what looks to be a really tarnished, maybe a copper piece here. Our last little bag before we end the night here. Some more of those special pieces, and these look to be faces. Look at those. Could you imagine doing earrings with these? That's all you'd have. That's all you'd have to put on those earrings. Like, you can't like make it better with more beads. That is insane. Look at the detail. And again, it's double sided. I don't know if you'd want to put it on like a bracelet and just have it like a reversible bracelet or just earrings. Hmm. Another face here, part of a face. And again, the, the hole runs side to side here. Such a pretty finish. I'm seeing this in here. I would not be surprised if that bag was $28 for sure. And again, we have two sleeping faces here. With two different finishes. And again, the, the hole runs either top to bottom or side to side, which I think is quite unique. Normally you just see, you know, one or the other, but now it really gives you a chance to choose. Here's some more detail. Okay. All right, so that was the end of the bead box that I got. And let me tell you, I feel so super lucky to be able to show this box. And um, I feel really lucky that I was able to win it. Um, because the person who had these beads obviously loved beads so much and I just feel lucky and able to share in their experience. Um, so let me know down in the comments uh, which one, which piece was your favorite. I don't know if I could really pick a piece. There were so many special pieces out of this whole box that I really feel lucky to have. Um, but some of the standouts were definitely uh, the Focals. Uh, these guys right here, I mean, those are pretty insane. But even, even the uh, seed bead bag, like I had some really, really cool beads in there that I liked as well. Um, so I hope that I will be able to share some of these beads with you. I'm hoping to create some like little one-off curated bead boxes here to offer to you guys so that you can take, um, take a shared experience in this with me because, you know, I can't keep all these beads to myself, so... <laughs> But uh, that's it for me for now. I hope you guys are staying safe and well, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.